Hey, it's Pike. Welcome to the demo for Of Love and Eternity. This is another thing that I, like with all the demos that I've played on my channel, well, not all of them, the vast majority, I've just stumbled across it on Twitter from devs interacting with each other. And this one, I'm not sure how much I'll like it because it's supposed to be like more of a horror game and I'm not good with creepy stuff and horror stuff, so... Not sure how I like it, but it just captured my attention. I mostly from the art style. I wasn't quite sure. I'm not exactly sure what like the gameplay entails, but it interested me, and I felt like wishlisting it and just to keep an eye on it. And there's a demo, so let's just try it out and <laughs> see how it goes. Brave knight, whose love is true and eternal, whose fate was cruel and untimely. The grip of a malevolent force on your soul has loosened. Your killer is dead. some time before your soul found this body once again. Life was taken in a most unnatural way, ripped from your body and left to wander the void. Your beloved has suffered equally so. Beyond is a world of the damned, and the souls who stray are lost. Beyond dwell violent and wicked spirits that have long been abandoned, and those who wish to see you join them. Beyond is where you will go. Beyond, she searches for you. Okay. 
Okay. This wall is collapsed. It didn't interact with anything, so it just popped up by itself. Yeah. Pretty cool so far. Like, again, like, the style is just so... Like, this is really what caught my attention. And I didn't really know exactly what the game entailed, but it just looks so... Cool looking. Storm rages beyond. Continue? Yes. Abandoned for several years, several years it seems. The road continues, but this way is blocked. Nice, I can just press escape to get out of that. Don't have to click on it. And the attack was like, before even the game opened up, it had another small window that had all the controls and like some settings and whatnot. I was surprised that attack was on space. Like, my mouse is only for looking around. Rust shut, it won't budge. This game has just really got a great atmosphere, though. Like, already, like, right off the bat. Rain must have loosened these boulders. There's no way through. saving. So I wonder if like the tortures are supposed to be save points because that flame on the bottom was mentioned at this like as the game was like starting up. That that's like the symbol for showing that it's in the middle of saving. So, like obviously you don't quit and whatnot. So I wonder if the torches are just supposed to be those in general or if it's just gonna be somewhat intermittent. light's supposed to signify.
Oh yeah, I forgot. I do have a control on my mouse. Right click zooms in a bit. And I think that, because I watched the trailer, like, on Steam, just to kind of know a bit more, hopefully. Though I still don't know much. That I think those are fireflies, and I'll put that, put them in my lantern on my hip. From, on the, from looking at the trailer that was shown. There's whispers. I guess maybe the light signify. Well, there was a torch that was the first one, but then the second one was that pile of bodies that a tree was growing on, and now it's another skeleton. So, huh. I can drop down here, but there may be no coming back. There's fire there. Let's check this torch then and see if it saves. Yep, so this, these are like save spots. Light signifies where you're supposed to go typically in game design. As long as you're not new school and using yellow paint, I guess. So we go the opposite direction, obviously, to start off with. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, though. I'm just showing that there's a red glow or fire down there, I guess it looks like. Feels like I could drop off here, but <coughs> sorry. These insects make it impossible to proceed. Sure. That's kinda funky.
And I heard from looking at the tags, like that's what maybe you know, this is a bit more horror, but it's also was tagged walking simulator, so that's probably why there's not so much stuff to punch. In case you're thinking about that. This is so weird that it's the insects. And I was thinking, like, I got the lantern and that let me pass the other ones, but. not glowing oh well, that's I didn't even notice that at first Jesus I was like oh that's a funky looking skull <laughs> do I have like is it almost like it's charges or something like I spend my firefly yeah, I guess it is. I must have. I just not noticed it. Or maybe they just only last a short while. Yeah, I guess they only last a short time. So there's a path there, but we should probably just check out this area. Give soul, take soul. I'm assuming there might be some different endings, perhaps. Oh, that's a spider again.
There's that red light that I think I saw earlier. I was wondering if something was supposed to be happening. You have completed area one. Thanks for playing the demo. Okay. It was a bit less than I was thinking it would probably be. I still have basically 12 minutes on my timer. That I had for 30 minutes. And I only started when like the gameplay started pretty much. But... Once again, like it was creepy, especially spiders. I've got a decent bit of arachnophobia. For some reason, bigger spiders tend to not be as creepy. Like bigger as in like unnaturally large. Like if it's bigger, th if it's like the size of a car or bigger than a person, the arachnophobia dips down a bit. But if it's like small dog cat sized and like to the point of being the ones the size of your thumbnail or something. And it still creeps me out a bunch. But, once again, the atmosphere was just... Again, it's what caught my attention and it's still keeping it. It was really great. Again, it's, it's a walking simulator like I was talking about earlier. I didn't really get to know the extent of the gameplay. How it's gonna play. But, I'll keep an eye on it so more. I've almost certainly following the dev on Twitter certainly wishlisted and that's almost because every once in a while I'll go through my wishlisted games see if there's a demo available and just uh, try and remember keep up on potential release dates since a lot of them don't have release dates but if they update it hopefully I'd catch it before just being like I don't know, startled by a release date, being like, oh shit, it's coming out tomorrow or something, but... Interested. Looks interesting. I... I gameplay, who knows. Creepy. I'm not good with that. Who knows if I'll... But, again, there's a... I'm... There's another demo that I played called Divine Frequency, which is also pretty creepy, which, again, don't like. I'm not good with it. I'm not a horror connoisseur, but that one had great atmosphere just like this does, and that also captured my attention, but it also had gameplay on its side too, so that helped even more. So a longer demo or something, I don't know, just some more info about what it's going to be like to play. Like, because it, I don't know, some more info, I need to keep my eye out on it even more so i'd say just to know more but yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time